Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. Oh, is Rivet going to ski down that slope? Oh, never mind. Try again, Charlie. <laughs> oh, dear. Go on, Charlie. Rivet might make it all the way down this time. What's that, Charlie? Rivet should watch you. <laughs> You're not going to slide down on your feet, are you? Well, it is a little bit harder on skis. Yes, Charlie. I'm sure Rivet's got it now that you've shown him how. Don't be surprised. Skiing isn't easy. Well, Rivet thinks it's hard. Maybe it is hard. Oh, where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Charlie. Being on skis really isn't easy. Oh, look at Rivet go. He can ski. What's that? You're good at skiing too, Charlie Bear. Are you sure you can do what Rivet did, Charlie? Oh, what's that? Does it pull you up the slope? Be careful! Oh, even going up doesn't look easy. Idea, Charlie. A few exercises before you set off. Yeah, stretch it out. Will you be going down soon? Oh, just a few more exercises. Can't be too careful. Is it time now? easy. Okay, keep practicing before you try anything harder. Oh, don't go too far up, Charlie. Oh, dear. Charlie, it's much steeper now. Be careful! <laughs> Did you mean to do that, Charlie? Charlie, I don't think I can watch you do that again. Are you sure you can do this, Charlie? Oh, 
Charlie. Charlie, watch out for that bump. Charlie? Charlie? <laughs> Being a snowman is easier than skiing down a mountain, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing what you can do with your imagination. So no more skiing then, Charlie. Oh, yes. Sledging is much easier. Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Oh, will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Oh, that bag of shopping looks very heavy. Can you manage? You're being silly now. I know you are. Be careful or else you might drop them. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you'll have to pick all the food up now. Ah, oh, that does sound great, doesn't it? It's wonderful you're making music, Charlie, but I, I don't think you should be using food like that. Charlie? Charlie? Charlie! Food isn't for playing music with, it's for eating. If you want to make music, then use something else, but please, not food. Thank you. Oh, dear. I didn't say that you can't make music. Charlie, what are you doing with that carrot? <laughs> oh, you look like you're conducting an orchestra. Charlie, you are conducting an orchestra, on stage and everything. Fantastic! <laughs> but where's the orchestra you'll be conducting, Charlie? That's your orchestra? You're going to conduct fruit and vegetables? Charlie. It sounds brilliant. Bravo! Sorry. Fruit has gone quiet. Huh? That sounded like a frog. How can a kiwi fruit sound like a frog? Sounds lovely, Charlie. That watermelon just clucked like a chicken. And the 
carrot mooed like a cow. <laughs> and the apple just neighed like a horse. Broccoli is going to sound like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh dear! It went. <laughs> oh my! Oh my! <laughs> oh, Charlie, I'm so sorry for laughing, but. <laughs> no, Charlie, stop, please. Food making funny noises is funny, though, isn't it? Just look and listen. And the audience think it's funny too. They love it. Ah, oh, that's more like it. Now go and take a bow, Charlie. Food may not be great for making music, but it can be very, very funny. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Oh, well done, Charlie. You're taking all the food to the kitchen where it belongs. And you found another way to make music. That's better, uh, I think. <laughs> bye bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye bye, everybody. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Where is he? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? Oh, there you are, Charlie. And you're being a chicken. I love it when you do that. Go on, pretend to lay an egg. You're not a chicken. Oh, OK. Let me guess again. Ah, I know. Are you a chicken that's sweeping up? Oh, I know. It's a guitar. You're being a pop star. <laughs> You're showing off a bit like a pop star too. Is it fun? You've certainly got a lot of fans, Charlie. Are you going to play a big concert for everyone? Wow, that's a nice car, Charlie. Is it taking you to the pop concert? Oh, couldn't you have walked that far, Charlie? Wow, you're famous! Oh, look, Charlie, it's your dressing room. Pop star. You look amazing. Is that a silver cape? Oh, it really brings out the colour in your fur. Are you going to play your concert now, Charlie? Oh, someone else is on first. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome our first act tonight. MC River! <laughs> wow! MC Rivet was amazing! And he was just the first act! I can't wait to see how amazing you are going to be! Next, tonight! Please welcome the stupendous Ballerina! 
That is absolutely magnifique. <gasps> oh, look at that tag. She's incredible, isn't she, Charlie? But you must be even better. I can't wait. You're on next. What's the matter? You're not worried, are you, Charlie? You're not getting stage fright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the incredible, the greatest pop star ever, Charlie Bear! Charlie, it's okay. Come out. You don't need to worry. You'll be an amazing pop star. The crowd will love you just like they've loved everyone else. Be a pop star. Charlie? Charlie! Oh no, poor Charlie really does have stage fright. Come on, Charlie, you can't stay in there forever. It's okay. Don't worry, you can do it. You've got a big silvery outfit, just like a pop star, haven't you? And you've got an amazing star-shaped guitar, just like a pop star would have. See? All your friends know you can do it. They think you'll be amazing. Are you going on stage? Charlie, you can do it. I know you can. Oh, you've done it. Well done, Charlie Bear. You really are a pop star. And Rivet and Bellerina are pop stars too. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. Bye bye, little Charlie Bear. See you again soon. Are you there, Charlie Bear? Charlie? Will you help me call him? Ready? Are you there, Charlie Bear? There you are, Charlie. Oh, are you playing Doctor Some Patience? Good. So Caramel is all fine and healthy then, Dr. Charlie? <laughs> a plaster for a sawney, I see. Good work, Dr. Charlie. You're testing Rivet's reflexes. Are his knees working okay, Dr. Charlie? <laughs> and taking Niblet's pulse to see how fast his heart is beating. Right. Is Niblet okay? You're a very good doctor, Charlie. Oh dear. Mitch poorly enough to have to go to bed, Dr. Charlie. Yes, when you're in bed not feeling very well, you want it to be nice and warm and dark so you can have a little nap. Oh, is Midge better already? Red spots! <laughs> you look very funny, Charlie. I see. You're the patient now, are you? I 
like your pyjamas, Charlie. Mmm, very cool. Oh, poor Frozo has a sore head. At least he's nice and comfy. I know where you are now, Charlie. You're in a hospital. But why are you in a hospital? What's wrong? You have a sore tummy and you feel hot too. Do you have a fever, Charlie? Well, you're in the right place. In hospital, there are doctors and nurses who look after you. Ah, here's Nurse Bellerina to look after you now. You're in good hands here, Charlie. I'm sure you'll be better in no time. Oh, and here's Dr Niblet too. Hmm. <laughs> he has a very unusual technique. Ah. <laughs> oh. You've got flowers from caramel. That's so nice. <laughs> Bless you. <laughs> Dr Niblet got a taste of his own medicine there. <laughs> Charlie... You shouldn't press that unless you really oh, need something. It's the button to call the nurse, you see. Maybe you should have a nap like Frozo, Charlie. Outside and play with Midge and Rivet. You have to get better first. Charlie, you still need to have a nap and feel better. Nurse Bellarina thinks you should have a little nap too. Oh, asleep already. That was quick. Have a nice nap, Charlie. Yes! The nap did the trick. The doctor and nurse agree you're better, Charlie. Yeah! Totally better. There's no stopping you, Charlie. You've got to love that bear. It's amazing what you can do with your imagination. <laughs> Are you finished being a patient now, Charlie? <laughs> Bye-bye, little Charlie Bear. Bye-bye, everybody.